Okay, this is going to be just a uh, simple video on this cheap chronograph I bought from AliExpress. Uh, the only reason I'm making this video is because already well, there's no other reviews out there or what reviews I've seen, they've never fired uh, high-powered rifles across them, so I'm just curious whether or not it can handle 3,000 feet per second or faster. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just uh, got this it was 35 US dollars from AliExpress. Took about a month to arrive. Very basic chronograph. Turn it on. I think it's in meters per second. We'll find out. Oh, and yeah, just simple light bars on the top. I did measure to make sure the gap between the top and the bottom was the same. I had to bend these rods slightly just so it was the same gap, but surely that's important. You want the same gap between the top and bottom, so maybe I'll start with the air rifle pallets and work my way up to high powered rifles and see how we get on. Okay, first up, uh, just 0.177 calibre air rifle pellets, just simple lead. Um, apparently my air rifle is supposed to do a thousand feet per second, but I don't believe it will, but we'll find out. Okay, so I was editing this video, and um, for whatever reason, the um, bit of shot after that last piece didn't record, so you didn't actually see what happened. So I fired the air rifle, fired some pellets through, Figured out it was in meters per second, and then I tried putting it to feet per second, and I'll show you what happened. So, turn it off, turn it on, press and hold the button, comes up NPS, maybe it means meters per second. Press it again, it says FPS, and if I press and hold, still restarts and then it was still in meters per second so I turned it off I tried again and from feet per second but it still says feet per second it just stays like that the uh, display doesn't go back to being ready for the shot so um, yeah we'll carry on see what happens from there well, it keeps saying FPS, I'll just try a shot, see what happens. No, they didn't register. Uh, turn it off. On. Two seventy-two, so it's back in meters per second. Um, yeah, I might put a conversion app on my phone or something, just find out how fast it is. Okay, let's see. Two two seventy two. Yep, eight hundred and ninety-two feet per second. Well, looks like this we're going to have to do to figure out speed, just uh, use the app to calculate the speed. Okay, now I'll try some 22 long rifle. There's a 40 grain Winchester supersonic. So, we'll see what kind of reading we get on those. Three, six, nine. Okay, I'll just uh, figure out how fast it was. Okay, 369 metres per second, 1210 feet per second. Yeah, sounds about right, I guess. Perhaps thought they might have been faster, but okay. Okay, time for more high powered rifles. I'll start with a bigger, heavier, but slower bullet, so 303 British, 
150 uh, grain soft point so I don't know probably mid 25 around 2500 I'm guessing somewhere around there okay hopefully this isn't too loud Seven. Okay. Well, two thousand seven hundred seventy-eight. So twenty-seven seventy-eight. Gee, that's much faster than I thought. But okay. Um, I'll try a six-point-five cream more next. See how we get on. Okay, American whitetail. Six-point-five cream more. One hundred twenty-nine grain. Okay. I just realised that's the same as what we got on the uh, 303 British identical speed okay well I guess only one thing left I'll go to the 223 uh, much smaller much faster bullet we'll see how we get on okay so uh, this is some Highland uh, ammo pretty cheap stuff you shooting but it's actually very hot loaded I reckon so yeah, 55 grain, expect probably 31, 3200 feet, but we'll see. Okay. 982 yeah, it's pretty fast okay that was 3221 feet per second so yeah like I thought pretty fast so yeah for a very cheap chronograph I'm actually uh, I'm really happy with this I'm surprised how it picks the bullets up it's had no problems haven't missed seeing any so Okay, yeah, hope you enjoyed.